Iraq is struggling to cope with drought. According to officials, some 1,200 people have been forced out of southern marshes and farmlands over the past six months. The Mesopotamian marshes, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, have been battered by low rainfall and reduced flows in the Tigris and Euphrates rivers due to dams being built upstream in Turkey and Iran. Moreover, according to the United Nations, the oil-rich Iraq, battered by decades of war, is also the world's fifth most vulnerable country to some key effects of climate change, including water scarcity and desertification. And due to the ongoing drought in the country, according to the head of the Agriculture Authority, the mass exodus began in April, while he also added that more than 2,000 buffaloes had died as a result of the drought. Meanwhile, last month, Iraq's Water Resources Minister said that the year 2022 has been one of the driest years that Iraq has seen since 1930. He said that this sighting, he said this sighting three consecutive years of low precipitation and reduced river flow. Moreover, this summer, vast swathes of wetland in Hawiza along the border with Iran, as well as in the touristic Chibayish region, have completely dried up. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.